Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Happy Learning with Anugamini. This is Dr. Anugamini Srivastava and I am here before you with another important topic to be discussed in research and among researchers. But before going ahead, I will request you all of you to please subscribe to my channel and share my video to those, to all your colleagues and friends whom you feel will be helped in some or the other way. Now going ahead, now when I started my PhD, I always have this belief that there should be someone, some counseling, some meeting in which I was told about few few crucial things that I just missed out in my first year. So today I am going to discuss what I observed and experienced meanwhile from first year to last and till now in research field and what I feel all the new researchers should think about before entering into the research journey. So today I have a few tips for all those new researchers in, the, in their fields to understand what cautions they need to take before starting their journey. So let's begin. So the first tip, keep a track on your research questions. The research questions, the problems that you identified before starting with your research journey and what you want to do now. Discuss it among your peers and colleagues, those whom you think are trustworthy to you those whom you think that they are going to utilize their expertise to improve what you aim to do, how you aim to do, and what exactly will be its benefits to the society and the community to which you are targeting the research work. So keep a track on your research questions, continuously try to improve it, narrow it down to identify the final dissertation topic. Now the second thing, the second tip says that ground everything on literature review. You might say that there are not much literature review done in my field which I want to do or directly connected to it. But if you don't have something directly connected to it, identify what is indirectly connected to it. Like if you say for example you are doing a research on behavior. Now if you don't find any direct paper which is conducted on behavior just for the sake of example, then identify those things which comprises a behavior like attitude, perception, ethics, values, beliefs. Try to connect all those different aspects of behavior to understand what exactly behavior is and up to what extent research on behavior has been done. Similarly, for methodology also. When you are trying to identify which, which methodology can be suitably used in my field or my research idea or research problem, go ahead with doing a literature review. Literature review will tell you which methodology has the highest level of acceptance in your field. Okay, and it will also keep you on track and it keep you updated with what changes and what criticism are given to the previous utilized methodology and what differences you can make by utilizing a new ones. Okay, so ground everything on literature review if not directly but indirectly. Now the next tip is the data safety. As a new researcher, most of the times researchers ignore this perspective and just consider their laptops as the main unit of storing their data which they have collected even in through the literature review or whatever primary data or secondary data collection they have done. Okay, so make sure when you join a research program and you start with it, you keep backups for your data. Minor information which you have collected should be backed up somewhere else because most of the times you will find that your, your seniors have faced issues with data storage and ultimately lost their research work actually. Similarly, some of them also lost their pen drives, their hard drives got crashed and their two or three years of work had been lost. You know, just learn from their experiences and make sure that you have different ways of backing up your data. You can either create a new email ID on which every work that you do daily are being mailed to your personal email ID, another one which is specifically made for your research work or you can make, utilize Google Drive and similar kind of different online drives which is available to you from where you can actually uh, utilize the data and retrieve it whenever you require. So do not make the error and the learn it, learn it from others experiences. Now the fourth tip. Now most of the times when researchers or new researchers come into the area and they start writing, they want to enter everything into their research papers because this is the first time they are putting their ideas on a sheet of paper and they want to inculcate everything which they have learned, observed and experienced. They want to show everything into their particular research paper. But obviously every journal has their word limits and you cannot exceed that. Now the problem comes in when you have already written your paper in a lengthier manner you are supposed to cut short it. Now cutting short is equivalent to writing another research paper. So whenever you start writing your research paper, 
think like you are going to present it. Okay, so when you are presenting it, you need to have a specific time limit within which you are supposed to present and express the key findings, key aspects of your research paper. So whenever you are trying to start writing your research paper, always think like you are going to present it. So identify what are the key things that you want to highlight in your research paper and how you came up to that level. And this will enable you to understand how many words you can utilize to write constructively all your work. And accordingly, you can follow the journal guidelines regarding the word limit. Okay, so always think like you're going to present it before and some other, someone others and similarly write in your own words. The next step that I'm going to give is to have a book in which you are continuously writing your idea. Now, what happens that when you join a PhD program or you start with your research work, you have multiple ideas in your brain. And ultimately, when you're supposed to put it in the form of identifying your research, topic or your final dissertation title, you almost forget majority of them. So to avoid that thing, keep a small diary with you. Okay, and try to write whatever ideas coming into mind. Most of all, you will have the ideas when you are bathing, you are, you know, moving around, you are just playing some games and sports. Most of all, you will get some ideas at that time. But when you are supposed to bring it to the paper, you know, most of the times these things are lost. And so don't make such kind of mistakes. Keep an idea book with yourself so that you keep a track on what I all ideas are coming into your mind. Even though you're not able to incorporate everything in your research thesis, but at least you will have some idea which you can do after your PhD also. So keep that idea book with yourself. Now the next step comes up that you need to be you. You need to understand what you are and be unique. Okay. By this, I meant to say that when a new researcher, when someone who is new into the research field, they try to just copy the style what others are using who have already published in big, big journals. Okay. By big journals, I mean indexed, abstracted journals, highly international reputed journals. Okay. Don't do that. You have your own style of writing. So don't try to copy or be someone else. Try to be yourself and write in your own words. This will not only enable you to express your words in what you want to say, in which manner you want to say, but it will also avoid, try to avoid the plagiarism part. Okay, so always try to be you yourself and be unique in your writing style. That will give you a competitive edge when it comes to identifying the you know quality work in the field. And for God's sake, avoid predatory journals and bogus journals. Yes, you might you know, get, you might get some of the other emails in which high impact factor is being shown and highly indexed journal is being shown and, you know, quickly you are going to get the publication, but do not get into that trap. You are a new researcher. You have lots of ideas and full on scope of doing research work. So don't lose this opportunity. Try to utilize your research work in a proper manner and identify good international reputed journals with high indexing and whatever your institution actually prefers to have into. Okay, identify those journals from uh, correct source, authentic sources and authentic list which is provided online, the updated, the latest online list and then only select the journals. And don't get into a trap of getting paid journals, publications, operatory journal publications. It will ultimately dilute your profile in the field of research. So these were my few small briefly described tips for all those who are starting with their research journey. Do keep these tips in your mind before you start with your research work and meanwhile you are doing it also. All these things will help you to become a better researcher with secure data set, with well written research papers and an excellent profile. If you find the content of my channel relevant to you, do like my videos and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video.